Hey everyone, this is David DeFranco from Squarespace Summit with a very interesting tutorial. Alright, so theoretically, let's say you're contemplating introducing a logo design for your website and or brand, but you do not feel like paying hundreds of dollars for said logo. Well, we have great news for you. One of Squarespace's newest features is called Squarespace Logo, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a free tool that allows you to design a basic logo with ease. This is not only a great way of getting your foot in the door of graphic design, but it's an amazing way of saving a lot of money if you're not willing to pay a premium price for a logo. So to get started, as always, let's press the escape key on our keyboard, which takes us to the familiar content manager view. And then let's click on the settings icon in the far left sidebar. And then right here in the middle of the page, you'll see a section called logo image. This is where you can upload an existing logo if you have one. But for this video's example, obviously we're gonna concentrate on creating a new logo. So let's click on this button right here, create a new logo. And doing so opens up a brand new window and introduces you to the first step of Squarespace logo. Here's where you can include your logo name. So let's put in Squarespace Summit and let's press return or enter. All right, so as you can see, Squarespace is trying to make this process as easy as possible by introducing a nice bold search box for symbols. So for this video's purpose, let's just search for circle. And as you can see in the left sidebar, Squarespace brings back a large variety of circle shapes to choose from. So first, let's click on the existing shape in the middle and press our delete or backspace key on the keyboard. And let's choose a random circle. This one actually looks kind of nice. And now from here, you have the ability to resize this shape and change its position on your canvas. Now, as you can see, Squarespace automatically snaps it to a guide, so you know it's guaranteed to be centered. So let's keep this shape on the left side and shrink the text Squarespace Summit, and let's put this in the very middle, like so. And now you can select multiple and drag anywhere you want. Now selecting just Squarespace Summit, you can actually change your text font. So clicking up here, we have a large variety of fonts to choose from, but for now, let's choose something kind of boring, yet traditional, Arial. And of course we can change the font color. Let's choose a nice orange and font weight. Let's make that bold and font style. Let's actually keep that as is. And of course we cannot forget you can introduce a tagline to your Squarespace logo design. So for now, let's just put free tutorials and resources for all. And let's move this up here and center that with the Squarespace Summit text. And there you have it. That is the new logo for Squarespace Summit. How do you like it? So we're obviously kidding. This is not really a good logo design at all, but we cannot forget the most important step. Once your logo design is complete, in the bottom left-hand corner, click this button, save logo. And this is where Squarespace says, your logo is ready, which version would you like? So Squarespace does give you two options. You can download your logo in a low resolution of 360 pixels by 400 pixels in the file format of PNG, which as you can probably tell from those numbers is really not large at all. So obviously you wanna go for a high resolution file. So let's click the button on the right, which gives you a resolution of up to 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels in the PNG file format. And that's quite large. But if you read right under this button, it is free for Squarespace customers. Otherwise, if you're not a Squarespace customer, you can still get this logo design for just $10. And if you compare $10 to the hundreds upon hundreds of dollars that you would normally spend on a good logo design, you're getting a steal. Seriously, 
it might as well be free. I mean, that's nothing for a good logo design. So there you have it. You have officially been introduced to logo design as well as Squarespace logo. Now, this goes without saying, but you know what? We're going to say it anyway. Squarespace logo is a great tool, but keep in mind, it's incredibly basic. It will never, ever replace applications such as Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. So that is just some friendly advice. If you're looking to get into graphic design, we do encourage you to keep that in mind. But of course, it is a great tool and it's very interesting. So as always, thank you so much for watching this Squarespace tutorial powered by Squarespace Summit over at sspacesummit.com. Your support is much appreciated and we will see you in our next video.